Mitsubishi Beauty. We're just going to have a chill moment. We're going to listen to some music in the background a little bit. Uh, and we are going to go through my Black Friday shopping bags. So if you're interested to see what I got on Black Friday, then just keep watching. All right, guys, I got my beats playing in the back. There's a live DJ from Europe. Uh, it's a... Uh, like defect records or something like that. Uh, don't quote me on that. But he plays music or they play music um, live in some cases or sometimes. So I just decided to just relax and we're gonna have an easy going uh, unbagging of my holiday shopping. And I wouldn't say holiday shopping so much as the fact that it is more of a, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more of a uh, Black Friday sale shopping kind of thing. So let's go through the Sephora shopping bag. I did end up getting a ring light that was a lot larger. Um, it's like a 19 inch ring light from this place called Social Lighting. And I will link there. Um, I think you guys have all seen it. Uh, they pop up on Facebook and they pop up on Instagram, but they're called Social Lighting and I'll put their link to their website in, in case you're interested. And I'll put some pictures of my setup uh, here. Um, so you can see that. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty. Didn't drop by too much. You know, buying from... Sephora can add up very quickly. So my bill was $98. Not, not everything was part of the Black Friday sale. Uh, one of the items I got as an extra item in case I run out or when I run out. But the first item I am going to pull out is my favorite powder. It's the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. For Sorry guys. From Jouer, and you guys have seen this before. Let's. And the color I got is deep. No, it's dark. It's called dark. It's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin E in it, and I just like the way it makes my skin feel. Um, this is me at the end of the day after having this on all day and all night, but it lasted a pretty long time. I really do like it. So, and that Jouer a Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder, uh, that was $31 at Sephora. The next item that I got from Sephora, this was part, it was right up front at the Sephora that I go to, and uh, it is part of the Black Friday sale they were having. Um, keep in mind, I did not go, uh, I did go to the actual store, not online. I did not go online and purchase these items or pay and then pick up. I actually went to the store uh, with the mindset of, of I'll just see what they have on sale and so they had the ordinary brand um, was it, uh, the ordinary brand it is a I believe they are strictly um, skincare uh, I don't know why I couldn't get that out hyaluronic or I'm sorry hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 this is, it says hydrators and oils. Uh, this is a, um, it says a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. It's two fluid ounces. And this is a skincare item. Let me go ahead and. Let's go ahead and take it out. This ended up being uh, 12, 12 dollars and 20 cents. And I, I don't know what the regular is. Let's see if it tells me. It doesn't tell me what the regular price is, but this ended up being 12.50 or 12.20. 
this is a skincare product. It says apply a few drops to face AM and PM before creams. Let's let you see. This is in a dropper form. And it looks clear. And let's just see what this smells like. It doesn't have a smell to it. It says the Abnormal Beauty Company, The Ordinary. <laughs> New York, New York, Toronto. All right. I guess my phone died, so there goes the music. Uh, maybe I'll put in some, what do you call it, YouTube music behind me. If irritation uh, occurs, cease use. I think they all say that. Ultra Pure Vegan Hyaluronic Acid. And again, that's skin care. $12.20 with the... The lady said they don't usually have that on sale. I don't even know if they usually have that product. But let's keep going here. And I bought... What else did I get? Okay, so I got two palettes. Two palettes. All right, so not two palettes, I'm sorry. I got two sets. So this next set is, I don't know if they consider it a holiday set, but it's the Prismatica Becca. What is it? Prismatica Becca and Barbie Ferreira. These are lip, it's a lip gloss kit. Alright guys, so yeah, sorry about that. My battery died. Not my battery, but my, whatchamacallit, got full. My little card got full. But yeah, this is the Prismatica. Uh, la la la. You know, my light should still be better. But for some reason, it does this thing. But anyway, so the Prismatica, um... They, they look like minis, of course. Lip gloss kit. You've got sparkle, foiled, and facet. Sparkle, foil, and facet are the colors here. And let's go ahead and take them out. So let's go ahead and undo it. I am going to go ahead and put, I actually use my Jouer powder uh, to let you guys see the difference. I like this powder because it's not a full-on matte powder. It's a hydrate powder, so it smooths out your complexion, but it still gives, I wouldn't say dewiness. Well, I like the way it looks. I, I do like the way it looks. It doesn't look all dry and matte, and I do like that. Plus, it's better for your skin to be hydrate, a hydrated formula, so... Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm sorry, I put that behind my chair, the receipts and stuff. So let's go ahead and take out the pink one. I like the packaging on these. Let's see if I can. So let's go ahead and zoom in to my mouth. These remind me the shape of them. Remind me of the um, oh goodness. They smell like cake batter. Just like the other one that I'm thinking of. I like the way it looks. It, I, I'd like to compare it to, um, oh my God, what is her name? I like the way it looks. It's not too sticky. Oh my goodness, what is her name? Um, how do I not remember what her name is? This is the color foiled. 
and it just has a very light subtle tint so again these are the three that come in the pack and I do like the packaging especially the top here and let me get the receipt that's behind me this little three-piece set this little three-piece set Becca and Barbie $15 Fifteen dollars. This was part of their. Um, I'm sorry. This was part of their Black Friday, Sephora Black Friday price. So yeah, I'd say it's it's a good price. And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm trying to compare these two. Uh, the the gloss bombs by uh, Rihanna. Rihanna's gloss bombs. I think they're called. These feel and smell like them. I'm not going to say just like them. They're a little less thick, but I would pre uh, compare this to Rihanna's gloss. I think they're called gloss bombs, but yeah, I still have that whole set of gloss bombs from Rihanna as well. So the next thing and the last thing, those were $15 that I did pick up I've never had a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette before. Well, I don't understand what I do wrong with this uh, lighting. I, but I've got a ring light. And it makes me look good until I hold So I think it has to do with the camera. So i got to get that ISO. I think it's called ISO open. So it lets in more light when I get closer. So this Bobbi Brown... It's called the Lux Encore Eyeshadow Palette Burgundy. Uh, this palette was $33. And I believe it's normally maybe 50 something dollars. Uh, my phone is dead, so I cannot check that. So let's go ahead and get into this palette. And this is an eyeshadow palette. It'd be nice if I could open it. It's got four shadows. I'm very scared to get close. Yeah, it has to do with my camera setting, I'm sure. So you also get in here A little brochure of the colors as well as they give you some ways you could do a look and I'm just gonna swatch them and maybe put one color put one color on my eye eyes I did like them. I really did like these. It comes with a mirror. These are the colors. So let's go ahead and get to swatching. Very soft. Okay, so these kind of remind me of... Um, oh, I can't. The Mothership Palette Lady. It's so horrible. I don't remember. That's horrible. All these names are, they're very soft. I'm not getting fallout or anything like that. But you could tell the quality is, is quite different. They also had the uh, Naked palettes on sale as well. I forgot the prices that they had those for. I'm confused as to, okay, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so let me go ahead and swatch them for you. Put this stuff behind me. Really liking this ring light. These are the colors. 
really liking the color. See, and this is reminding me of the, I've got to get her name. I am so sorry, guys. I got to get my other palette. This reminds me, the formula almost reminds me of this uh, Pat McGrath formula. Uh, I really do like it, even the, the way the colors look. And I am going to try, I'm going to try one or two colors. I do have a light gloss on, uh, gloss, light um, eyeshadow on. But I'll just go ahead and go over that um, with this palette. I'm not going to bother taking... Okay, now I just need to find my remote to cut off the camera. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. But anyway, I'm going to wash my hands off. And I'm going to quick time, you'll see me fast time, try out some of these colors. This is base. It's very subtle. This is a neutral palette. Uh, let me just read to you the colors. Uh, the colors are, I guess, let's see. You can see them. Pink Truffle. Golden Pink. Rub da -da 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 -da. Pink Truffle golden pink ruby and cabernet yep so that's the colors there and i really do like the formula of these colors they're very nice uh i think it's worth what I, they're it's worth what they're worth but what i paid for the, the palette i think it's a steal uh, because this is a very nice palette. Uh, the formulas are great. Uh, and the um, worth is there. So I really believe it's worth what what their the original price was. And I just can't remember what that is. My phone has died so I can't look it up. But again, this is called the Bobbi Brown Luxe Encore Eyeshadow Palette. And yeah, I am pleased that it come with a box. I don't think so. Yeah, I think it did come with a box. But guys, that is it from Sephora. The next place that I did go to, uh, they are called um, Francesca's. And the only thing I got at Francesca's uh, were hair accessories, believe it or not. They were two for... I think they were two for $15. Yeah, get two at $15. And so what I ended up getting were some scrunchies that I don't believe I have here right now, but I'll just give you, I have a scrunchie on my hair right now. This is one of them. I don't understand what I did with the rest of the scrunchies that quick. Oh, I think I put them in my drawer, but here's one scrunchie. They basically um, look, kind of, they don't all look like this, but this is one scrunchie. Uh, but what I really thought was interesting was the head bands. I got this headband. I thought it was interesting. I don't know if it can fit on this hair. Um, well, it can, but uh, I like it. But on my regular hair, non-braided hair, I think it would be cute. Yeah. Kind of remind
reminds me, my husband's uh, from the former Soviet Union. And uh, this is like somewhat the style that the women used to wear. And a lot of women still, still wear this style of a headband there that reminded me of that. This probably more so for, this is another headband. I'm into headbands lately uh, because I like uh, trying to keep my natural hair looking neat. And these head headbands look great. So this is this again would be for once I get the braids out. And here's another one. And of course the scrunchies that I showed you, yeah. So that's basically what I got two for $15 at Francesca's. I'm not sure if you guys have a Francesca's in your part of the woods, but I really do like this store. So yeah, if you know who they are and you've never been by, I would check them out. All right, the last item that I do want to show you guys that is uh, a black, it's not really a Black Friday sale, but it was all in the back Black Friday purchases um, today that I made. What is this? Okay, so I did make... They were on sale, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with DSW. DSW um, is a shoe store, and they do have it. They have them in the South, um, United States, Southeastern United States. I don't know if they, I'm sure they have them everywhere else. But I did get a pair of tennis shoes, but they are... And I can't believe I got this name brand of tennis shoe. They're Michael Kors tennis shoes, regularly $98, so they say. Um, and you know, you actually can look up the color and according to the color, you get that percentage off. So this one had a blue, uh, clearance price color thing, which means I got I believe it was 40% off. But guys, get this. The regular price of these Michael Kors tennis shoes, and they felt really good uh, when I put them on. $89.98 for Michael Kors tennis shoes, guys. Michael Kors tennis shoes. I really like it, as you can see from my little sweater here. <laughs> I, I do like the pattern, uh, but yeah, and it's actually fur type of feeling back here. Michael Kors. And you see the brand name on the back here, if it would focus, but they really do feel good inside. Um, I really like them. And I do have a bunion on my left foot. Um, so hopefully it doesn't upset that, but I did try them on in the store and kind of walk around a little bit. But guys, this is a cute tennis shoe. This is a very cute tennis shoe. This is not something I'm, I'm guessing people would exercise in this because it feels really good. But this is really going to be for a lot of walking around in the mall. Um... Just in general, in inside probably, but this probably could be a good exercise shoe. Again, this was okay. My cat just fell in the in the box in the bag. That's so funny. But so it's eighty nine dollars. So yeah, that does it for my purchases. Got I've got a lot of noise going on. One sec, my cat. Basically almost tearing the bag, my cat. But anyway, um, guys, that does it for uh, my Black Friday haul, the Sephora haul, the uh, shoes from DSW, and the Francesca's hair accessories. Uh, if you're interested in any of these stores, I will put... If they have links to them, I'll put them in the description box below. If you have any questions for me about any of the items that I showed you or any of the stores that I talked about, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments section down below. 
and I think the next box that I'm supposed to be getting is the Fab Fit Fun. Or did I already do that one? Something tells me I already did that one. I don't even remember anymore. So it's something's coming up soon. But uh, yeah, for those that don't know, um, I do subscription boxes. Uh, I am waiting um, to get my clothing subscription again it would be my second one and it would be from stitch fix I, I i'm wondering if it's something i should have done or will they automatically bill me i have to look but i've done one stitch fix unboxing so i'm waiting on my other one maybe that's going to be next because i think i did every other month maybe but guys that is it if you have any questions let me know if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're interested in my channel, please do subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.